to you, Kathleen Barton, who will take the reins and tell us about Genevieve Urbane and how we changed the name of our recognition. Yay. Hello, everybody. Say hi to Jenna. Today we honor Jenna, a young woman that graduated from Ryan High in 2022. Thus, I'm sporting the orange of the Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is currently studying at the University of Michigan. She is looking to get a mechanical engineering degree. But we're honoring her for what she did when she was eight years old, which I think is pretty terrific. In celebration of Black History Month when she was eight, Jenna watched a documentary written by Buddy Morehouse called Black and Blue. How many in here have seen that documentary? Okay, so if you, because the, there's a number of you who haven't, I would highly recommend that you watch it again. Just Google it and it'll pop up for you on YouTube. It is a terrific historical review of the story that Jenna saw. Um, it's a story of Willis Ward. He was an African-American student back in 1934. He was a senior at U of M. He was an athlete. He became a civil rights activist and a judge and he was discriminated against by the University of Michigan when he was a senior on the football team. One of his teammates was Gerald Ford. All of you know who Gerald Ford ended up being. So Jenna watched this film at Hilton High, he was, or Hilton Elementary School. As a child, her wisdom perceived the injustice that was done to Willis Ward. Her courage and her initiative resulted and the University of Michigan naming a game day in honor of Willis Ward at the Michigan Stadium. Plus, the opening of the Willis Ward Lounge in the University of Michigan Union in 2015, where the descendants of Willis Ward, per my emails with Buddy Morehouse, and he apologizes for not being here, he's in Denver. In an email that we have shared last week, Buddy told me that the Ward family insisted that Jenna hold the scissors at the ribbon cutting of the dedication of the room at the Union because of all of her, um, all of her efforts that she went to to the administration as she went to the Board of Regents at the University of Michigan and talked to them about what they had done and what they should do to make it right. They were grateful for what she did. When I spoke with Jenna last week, she talked about how proud she is to be a student there and to study in that very lounge room in the Union, which she helped to get to name. When I also spoke with Jenna, I asked her two things. I said, what was the best positive thing that surprised you about this event and this whole um, situation that you did when you were a young girl? And what was the negative? The negative was is that one of the administrators said he would never pay for anything to make this happen. So that was kind of a sad thing that she learned as an eight-year-old. But the positive thing that she learned as an eight-year-old is that there was such a friendship between the folks that were there in the process and their descendants. And that the Willis Ward Lounge, the Willis Ward Day, and she went before our state legislature and got a state Willis Ward Day. Um, so, so her efforts as a, as a young person to have that courage and that initiative is pretty incredible. What she told me was a tip, and I'm gonna ask her to hold up this picture, because there's not a way to let these things stay on this podium. This picture is a little bit hard for you to see, but it is the team picture of Gerald Ford and Willis Ward. They were right next to each other. And Gerald Ford's number is 48, and in that day and age in the 1930s, there was a little bit of a, a, a top, or a top hat, Jenna called it when I talked to her, um, on the four that points toward Willis Ward. And so in fast forward to 2016, and the new fours on the uniforms with the new contract have that top hat and it has a little bit of a swipe to the, pointing that way to the left, as a nod to diversity and to Willis Ward. And so when Jenna told me that, I said, oh gosh, I have to do a bunch of homework. So I went and watched the film I, of her, um, or of Black, the black and blue film. I went and watched the film of her at the Regents meeting. I read the USA Today article. I saw her in a jersey wearing the number of Willis Ward on Willis Ward Day. And uh, it was just a, such a wonderful thing to see this young woman in so many ways and read the Detroit News article because she tuned me into this really cool thing that now when we see fours like this, we don't always know what some of them might mean, what that might have as a significance or a code or a special message. So when you see these fours in this case, it has a special message. 
So I wanted to tell you that after reviewing the nomination that Buddy Morehouse made of Jenna, and all of those items that I wanted to say how proud and pleased I am to introduce her, and her mother is standing up right there, and we need to say that this is a gift for you because today is your birthday. So happy birthday, Jenna's mom. And Jenna, it's our honor to honor you for the contributions that you've made to make the world a better place. Thank you very much.